Hi, I'm Chaplain Johnson from the Spiritual Care Department here with our Monday morning meditation. And once again, it is such a joy and a privilege to be able to share with you uh, in these words of inspiration and hopefully encouragement as you are navigating your way uh, through your week. Um, it is uh, with great uh, um, appreciation for our administration uh, to our uh, care teams and all the places where you serve, doctors, nurses, um, uh, patient care techs, uh, those who work in respiratory, those who work uh, uh, dialyzing our patients, those who are even dealing with diets. Uh, <laughs> um, we want to thank all of you for all that you do. For those who are a part of the care team and a part of the hospital family, whether you are in housekeeping or uh, working in uh, in food service, uh, whatever you do here at the hospital, we want you to know that you are loved, appreciated, and you are irreplaceable. Uh, we recognize that it takes a team and a family to make this happen. And so we're so grateful for you. And these words of inspiration and encouragement are for you and to our families uh, and patients who are uh, getting better day by day, going through the process of dealing with uh, all that, com that comes with the challenges of of healthcare and trying to heal from whatever ails us. So thank you so much. Now, uh, this morning's meditation is one uh, that is attached to the series that we began last week. Last week, we talked about finding faith, finding faith. And we started off with uh, the first installment of finding faith in talking about remembering, remembering, remembering faith. Uh, the idea or the concept behind remembering faith in our attempt to find it is to recognize that the word remember, uh, two words put together, uh, uh, the etymology of such we won't go all the way into, but we are reminded that it is not simply reliving faith. It's not just simply calling to mind, but it is connecting, uh, remembering it, bringing faith as back to the part of the body, part of our re regular activity, a part of our regular uh, action and thought process uh, as uh, a part of us as it is to breathe or to move or to think or to laugh or to talk or to communicate or, or to wonder or to cry, all of that which makes us human, it is important to incorporate faith as a part of that because in doing so, we uh, find ourselves uh, reconnecting to the divine, to the one who made us and creates us and start to actually explore what life really has in store. It's a beautiful thing to remember uh, as a part of finding faith. This morning uh, and this week, I want you to concentrate uh, on resurrecting faith. And now, resurrecting faith is similar to remembering it, but it is one of those things that as it is with fear, fear has a way of being uh, the contradiction or uh, puts us in paradox, if you will, to that in which we understand faith to be. Fear drives us to the place where it forces us to forget what it is we've experienced in our life and so that we have to remember faith uh, intentionally to call faith back to the place so we don't forget the journey we've been on. But also it's so with resurrecting our faith. Uh, the word resurrection means, uh, in essence, really to, to bring back, to employ, to bring it back to life again. Uh, that which seems to be buried or gone or forgotten to now resurrect it and bring it back into function. Uh, fear causes us to bury those things that we once believed in. Uh, some of us believed in family. Some of us believed in the institutions around us. Some of us believed in our church uh, organizations or our religious uh, affiliations. Some of us have learned and thought and, and, and counted on uh, certain things to be in place, uh, the nation and what it, uh, it represents. And in life, sometimes those things in which we once believed uh, are shattered. Sometimes the things that we hoped uh, would uh, be our saving grace, let, they let us down. It's kind of one of those things that you find yourself wanting to believe and those things in which we once believed in sometimes disappoint us. Sometimes it's family, sometimes it's friend, uh, sometimes others, and whatever our principal center is that we've laid before ourselves and said that I can count on, sometimes even those things are challenged. So you have to resurrect faith. You have to kind of dig it up. You got to take it from 
uh, that which covers it, covered it, pain, anguish, frustration, disappointment, clear it off a bit, and then to discover that faith has this ability to actually be resurrected. It is, it is that part that you can, you can believe again, you can begin again, you can live again, you can have joy again, you can laugh again. And while we have gone through all that we've endured over the past year or so with the pandemic, and some of us have, have received and lived through uh, incredible loss, uh, but while we're going through that, it is a good thing. In, in fact, it is imperative that we resurrect faith so that we can believe again, that we can love again, laugh again. Just as I mentioned all the time, the seasons change. We are back at spring. We may get snow <laughs> even in April, but we always remember that spring will prevail. Uh, the clouds do cover, uh, but the clouds do not keep the sun from shining. Uh, just imagine this that there are days that will be dark, some will be dreary, some will be overcast because the clouds have been able to block the sun's rays from reaching us. And even on those days, we still are aware that it's day. But we also are aware of is that the clouds won't stay forever and they soon move away. And the same sun that we saw before has always been shining. It never stops shining. Just the clouds sometimes get in the way of our view. To resurrect our faith is to be able to uncover that which is most important to us. Our belief that our divine creator, I call that creator God, you may call that creator something else, but I believe that God in, in God's way never stops shining on us, never stops loving us, never stops reaching out to us, never stops living among, of, among us. And it's incumbent upon us to resurrect our ability to believe again. So I'm inviting you this week to start believing again, resurrect faith, resurrect your belief that there is something good. It doesn't always have to be something bad. The news gives us a deluge, uh, a constant diet of all the horrors that are happening in the world. And that doesn't mean that they're not happening. What it does mean, however, that it's not the only thing happening. And there are great things that are happening as well. People are kind to each other. People are loving each other. People do support each other. And right here in our very hospital, we see that live and in living color. We see nurses working tirelessly to care for patients. We see patients being kind to those who are caring for them. We see families interacting with the doctors and doctors interacting with families. We have discovered even in the midst of difficulty how important it is to resurrect our ability to believe again. I believe in you. You believe in me. It's important to be able to, to know and to see that resurrecting our faith has results. How do I know? Here's how I know. That during the fall, many seeds fall from uh, leaves fall from the trees and many seeds are planted or they find themselves without help, without our working at it, finding themselves to replenish themselves and fall to the earth. Some of us during the spring or during a certain time will find that we think that winter has stolen all of life. The, the trees are bare. Uh, there's no fruit on the trees. Uh, it's cold. It is icy. It seems like all that there is has died. But what we don't know is that the seeds that have fallen to the ground and are rooted, find root in the ground, they discover a way to lay dormant for a while until there is a call. I don't know who makes the call, but I believe God makes the call for the seed to start to germinate and then bud when spring comes. And somehow it breaks out and breaks forth and resurrection is at hand. I've experienced that in my life. I don't know about you but there have been moments when I wondered whether or not I would survive whatever the onslaught or what it is I was dealing with. Whether it would be a loss of a loved one, maybe it, been, it may have been a change in career, disappointment on this hand, difficulty on the other hand, as sometimes the clouds seem to stay and they don't want to leave. But like magic, like something out of a, a book, 
uh, I believe God steps in and writes a new chapter to that in which I thought uh, was closed. And I am reminded that it's okay to resurrect and find faith in things that I thought no longer could provide inspiration. There you, you see, spring does come. Life can be enjoyed. Love does happen, it does. Uh, and you discover that life goes on because every day is a gift. So I'm encouraging you to find faith today. I'm encouraging you to resurrect it, which means there's some work for you to do. That means you gotta kinda dig for it. You gotta look for it. It doesn't just happen while you're sitting on your couch, but you have to remember and then resurrect it. You have to know that you have to bring faith as a part of your life. And then you have to do a little work to dust things off, clean out some of the, the clutter in your life so that you can resurrect that which brings life anew. I'm encouraged by you. Uh, I am praying for you. We're praying for you. And we're encouraging you to keep on running and walking and living and laughing and smiling and caring for one another. Sometimes the words that you give provide a little gas for those who are out of gas right now, who've lost their faith and having a difficult time to believe in believing right now. But I want to encourage you to believe in one another, believe in yourselves and believe in the one who created you. It is important to know that we're here for a reason and for purpose, and that is to love, love with all our heart, with all our souls, all our mind, and all of our strength. Who should we love? Everyone we see, including ourselves and including God. How much should we love? As much as we can, as strong as we can, as vibrantly as we can, because that is the gift of life. Enjoy your day, enjoy your week, smile, laugh. And if you don't feel like smiling, Start to do your work of remembering what you look like when you used to smile and remember that it's important to resurrect that which was lost. You'll discover that when you do, it will create a whole new world for you, a whole new set of friends, a whole new life if you allow it. Have a great day. Have a great week. I'm praying for you. Uh, pass some love to somebody else. Let them know that you're here as their support system by loving them well. Have a great week. Enjoy your day.